Hello everyone. My name is Ratna Kishor. Welcome to my channel. In this channel, I upload the videos for undergraduate students in both electronics and computer science domains. In this video, I am going to give you three different ways of finding the count of each word in the given file. In the first way, we are going to use if else statement. In the second way, we are going to use try and catch blocks. In the third way, we are going to use get method associated with the dictionary. Now we will see various steps involved in finding the word count. In step 1, we need to read the text from the input file. In step 2, we need to remove all the punctuation marks available in the text. In the step 3, we need to create a dictionary with all the words and their count available in the text. In the root folder of the Jupyter notebook, I have a text file, data.txt, I am opening it where I have some text in it with some punctuation marks like question mark and pull stop and new line characters also there because it is having throttle three lines in it. Now I am going to use this text file as input file for our program. Now I am going to use the first method where we are using if else statement to achieve our word count functionality. As a first step we need to read all the contents available in the data.txt file into a variable. For that I am using the open function available with Python to open the text file in the read mode. Then f is our file object. Then I am using read method associated with that file object f to get the text available in that text file into a variable message. Then if we display that message variable content, we will get all the text available with data.txt file. Since this text is having various punctuation marks, as a second step we need to remove all those things. For that we are going to use some set of lines here. Then I am using a punctuation as a variable to hold a string which is having all the punctuation marks including a new line character. And then I am taking a variable msg with empty string. Then I am running a for loop to access the each character in the input message. And then I am going to check whether that character is available in that punctuation string. If that character is not available in punctuation string, then that character will be appended at the end of that msg variable. Then if we display that msg variable content, we will get the same string without having any punctuation marks in it. See here, this last line is the output of our second print statement. Here all the punctuation marks including the new line character are all removed. Now we need to create a dictionary for the word count. For that I am using set of lines here. First I am creating an empty dictionary wc and then I am using a for loop to access the each word in the given message msg. To get a list of words which are separated with space in the msg string I am using the split method here. Then I am going to check whether that word is available in the wc dictionary. If it is available, then I am going to increment the value associated with that word. Else, I am going to create a new item where the key is word and its value is initially 1. Now, if I display this dictionary, then I will get all the words available in the given message as keys and the values of each key is nothing but the number of times that particular word is available in that input string. If you observe your file where you have he as a word which is available for three times. In the same way you can find a word two two times in the given string. See this is the first time you have two and this is the second time you have two. In that way we can use the simple if else statement to find out whether that word is available in the wc dictionary. If that word is available as a key in the dictionary then we are incrementing the value associated with that key otherwise we are creating a new item in the dictionary where the word is a key and its initial value is 1 in it. Now we are going to see the way of finding the word count where we are using try and catch blocks. Here the first step is same. We are reading the entire text available in the text file into a variable message and using the second step we are removing all the punctuation marks available in that given message and finally we need to create a dictionary for the word count. For that first I am taking the empty dictionary and then I am using a set of lines here where first I am running a for loop to access each word in the given message msg and then I am using 
a try block here. In the try block, I am using a statement word count of word is equal to word count of word plus one. That means I am incrementing the value of the item where the key is the given word. If that key is not available in this dictionary, then automatically this try block will raise an exception, which is key error exception. That exception we are catching by using this accept block, where we are creating a new item in the dictionary with the word as a key and its initial value is 1. So by using this try and accept block we are achieving the functionality here. Then if we display this WC dictionary content we will get all the words as keys and the count of those words as values. And the final method I am discussing here is by using the get method associated with the dictionary. A dictionary object is having the get method with two arguments. The first input argument is the key and the second input argument is the default value. This get method returns the value of the item with the specified key. If the specified key is not existing in the dictionary, the get method returns the default value which is specified as a second argument for this method. So here also the first and second steps are same. We read the text from the input file and also we removed all the punctuations available in that text. Then we need to find out the word count by using the get method. For that I have the set of lines here. As in the previous cases I have considered the empty dictionary here and then I ran a for loop to access each word in the msg string. Then I am using the get method with the word as a key and 0 as the default value. If this word is available as a key in the dictionary, then it will return the previous count into CNT variable. If this word is not available as a key in the WC dictionary, then automatically this get method returns 0 into CNT variable. And then we are using this statement to assign a new value into that item. If that word is available previously as a key, then a new value will be assigned which is previous count plus 1. If that word is not available as a key, then this count variable will have 0 in it. Then a new item will be created where the key is this word and the count will be 1 now. Now, if I display this dictionary, then we got the same output as the previous cases. So that's all with this video. These are the three ways we can use in Python to get the count of all the words available in the given file. Thanks for watching guys. I will meet you soon with a new video.